What's up guys, I'm back like I never left. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the top two stocks that we need to be watching out for for tomorrow. So these companies are gonna be reporting earnings and they can make a significant move. And we're also gonna go over exactly what is the potential for these companies for the long term. I'm also gonna be doing a quick stock market recap and some important economic reports that we need to be watching out for for tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned. Now let's get right into the video. Before we get into the video, I appreciate it if you can hit the like button if you have any questions, any comments. Make sure you drop it in the comment section below. So as you can see right here, we have the overall stock market that traded lower today. You know, unfortunately, as you can see, the overall sectors in the stock market were selling off to the downside. It was not only the technology, you know, the energy, financials, it was just the majority of the stocks were just selling off to the downside. So there's only a few companies that performed very well. For example, we have Zoom that actually went up today because there is a lot of cases that was going on in the US and also in Europe. There are some states that are implementing restrictions, for example, in New York and also California and also in Texas, El Paso area. They're definitely following up and implementing some restrictions because the case number are rising significantly. So depending upon how the case number rises, I know we've been hearing a lot of case numbers. There's a lot of people being hospitalized. So we need to definitely keep an eye on those restrictions being more tighter and that can definitely have an impact on the economy so of course the main thing that we need to be watching out for for tomorrow is that we have major companies that are reporting earnings you know so we have today we have a lot of companies that are gapping up higher specifically in the ev sector you know we're going to be talking about neo lee motor and x bang you know these companies have been breaking out to the upside you know later on i'm going to cover exactly one of these companies that are going to be reporting earnings for tomorrow so of course let's talk about neo stock you know it's been breaking out to the upside they added an additional 12.12 percent to the upside and the most important thing that we need to be watching out for in the short term is their earnings reports coming in november 17. so that is going to be huge for neo their delivery numbers was fantastic expect their earnings reports to be phenomenal at the same time but of course, they're still not profitable, so we still have to take into consideration that. But in the future, of course, this company, the way that it's heading, it can definitely be a possibility for them to turn a profit. So when we look at the analyst expectation for this company, which is really important in the short term when the company is making all 52-week highs, like every single day, basically, for the past few weeks, you have to take into account what are the analysts are expecting for this stock, you know, so, of course, the majority of them, we talked about them in the past, too, when we were talking about NEO, when it was, like, a penny stock, when it was trading at $10, $15, it was really important to look at exactly what is the possibility for NEO, of course, the, the majority of the analysts are saying that it was a buy, it was a solid buy, and, of course, they're saying, also, it's not now, it's a solid buy, and the highest price target for this company that they have it around $45, about $45, and the average is around $22 and the low is $6, you know, so that is way, way low. So as you can see over here, we still have to wait after the earnings reports. You know, they can summarize based on the data that they hear from, you know, the CEO, what their guidance is. You know, we might expect new analysts to come out and really update their expectations for the future. So that can definitely boost up the stock price again. So that's going to be super key for NEO. After the earnings reports, battery day coming up in January. So expect significant volatility for the stock too. So the stock can definitely can rally too. So now let's talk about another company that reported earnings today, which is XPeng, which is ticker symbol SPEV. We talked about this this company right after IPO. It was selling off to the downside, and we talked about that it was in a dis price discovery mode after it IPO'd, and it was just consolidating with this this tight range, and eventually it broke out of. Right now, it's sitting at close to forty eight dollars. You know, it made a new fifty two week high today. $48.87 and this company also had a phenomenal delivery numbers and as you can see right here after they reported their earnings reports the stock shot up 33% to the upside so it's really fantastic for this company all of these Chinese companies you look at them they're going higher and higher so what's to expect for this company for the future when you look at the analyst expectations for this specific company they rate this company as a buy even though there's not a lot of analysts you know that did research about this company only seven analysts right now and the high they expect this stock to go is approximately 43 dollars and as you can see over here the medium is close to 30 dollars and of course the lowest is 21 dollars you know so we might expect this stock you know, to continue to go higher and higher depending upon how these chinese companies are performing they're in a super bullish trend right now so you might expect this stock to even go higher and higher but you know the pullbacks of course is going to happen as you can see the stock broke out and the pullbacks are going to be the downside so ideal price point for us to get involved in it if we can pull back you know just wait for it 
you know, to, for it to just consolidate at least a $40 area if it can pull back all the way over here. But really be patient, you know, chasing it right now, unless you want to get involved in it for the long term, you can get definitely get burnt, you know, so just be super careful if you want to get involved in it. Now let's talk about the top two stocks that we've been watching out for. And the first company is going to be Elite Auto. So as you can see over here, the stock is up 27.27% of the upside and their earnings reports is for tomorrow. So the expected move was close to, you know, 10 to 20%. So that is a lot just because that is expected. You know, the stock is not significantly going to move that much, but it moved significantly higher today prior to the earnings announcement. So we might expect huge volatility tomorrow after they announce the earnings report. So this is also a recent IPO company that is doing very, very well, Chinese company. So definitely keep an eye on it. Right now it's sitting at close to the 52 week high of $32.78, you know, so definitely watch out for this company. Now let's talk about the second company that we need to keep an eye on. It's gonna be DraftKings. This company has been performing very well for 2020. This is one of the best SPACs that performed very well. It hit a high of the 52 week high that it made was approximately $64.19 and unfortunately pulled back drastically to the downside, now sitting a little above $40, you know, so the expected move for the earnings report for tomorrow for DraftKings is 13% move, either to the upside to the downside, that's approximately $5, so you can add $5, it can potentially go past this price point over here, go to $46, or it can go below that $40 area and can trade around close to $35, you know, so definitely keep an eye on it, this company definitely has potential for growth, you know, so there's a lot of things that have been going on right now that is positive about this company. And when you look at the analyst expectations for this company, the majority of the analysts are saying that it is a buy right now. And the highest price target for this company is close to $76. And the average is $56 and the low is 37. So right now it's right in the in between. So if you want to get involved in it, it's a great top price point to get involved in it. This could potentially go to $75 and as time goes on for the long term, still not profitable com company, but they definitely have potential. So another company that we need to also be watching out for is gonna be Lancadian Holdings. You know, their merger is gonna be pretty soon. So I'm gonna be making another video pretty soon about that company too. So now let's talk about the major economic reports that we need to be watching out for for tomorrow. So for Friday, November 13th, we got a 7 a.m. We got the New York Fed President John Williams gonna be speaking. Also, 8.30 a.m., we got the producer price index. It's going to be for the period of October. Their previous was 0.4%, and the median forecast is 0.2%. Also, we have 8.30 a.m., we got St. Louis Fed President James. It's going to be speaking. At 10 a.m., we got the consumer sentiment index. It's going to be for the period of November. And previous was 81.8, and the median forecast is 82.3. So keep an eye out for this economic kind of report. And make sure you be careful when you manage your risk. If you have any questions, any comments, make sure you drop in the comment section below. If you want to sign up for a rebull, or join a Discord chat or a Patreon page. There's going to be links available. And I'll uh, catch you guys on tomorrow's video. Let's get it. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.